are murals. These are three, four, eight scenes depicting the progress of, of man. So if we start here, this one is astronomy and mathematics. And we see what is like that. We see again a representation of Copernicus, Kepler, and an ancient Arabic uh, mathematician. I, did, I used to know his name. And we come to the right. The next, the next frame is depicting. What do we have here? This is uh, aeronautics. You see how we start with a paper plane, we move to a ship with sails, Leonardo da Vinci behind and one of his flying apparatuses, and finally a plane. And behind that we have a nice hot air balloon. The next one, this one is, I believe, um, navigation. You see a ship on the seas, she's holding an astrolabe, and there's another astrolabe in the center above. And you see the phases of the moon, as it, of a planet as it moves around. This next one is, we see a Egyptian pharaoh, we see Greeks wrestling, and we see a modern surveyor. And just behind him you see this, the outline of Hoover Dam. And this one is um, civil engineering. This next one, so here we have I can't tell if the guy on the left is Babylonian or Greek, but we have the beginning of electricity and metallurgy. The next frame, this one is time. And on the left, we definitely see Central American characters. It looks like a Mayan headdress and the Mayan calendar. Here, this one took me a while to figure out. This is geology and biology. The guy on the left is holding a, it seems like he's coming out of a volcano, he's standing next to an oil well, and then in the center we start to see somebody with a microscope, and the guy on the right is holding fossils of animals long extinct. And our last frame, as we come all the way around, here we have geometry and modern mathematics. So that must be Euclid on the left, the, probably the same Arabic mathematician whose name I can't remember starts with a, an AZ and on the right there is Newton presenting his orb to fellows at Cambridge so here we see the pendulum again and you can see the difference between the direction it's moving now versus the direction it was moving at midday. So the pointer is showing the direction the pendulum was, was moving at noon, and now you see where it's moving now. If I look over here, let's see if I can see. Here are the numbers that he was just talking about, starting with zero, one, two, coming all the way back around the dial. All the way back around. Finally at the end at 41. Now zero is a placeholder, so it's really 42. So that's the 42 hours he was talking about it takes to go all the way around with the bending. They had a, a similar pendulum at the Smithsonian for many, many years. And in my most recent trip, just two years ago, they, they no longer had the pendulum. They took it out in favor of other exhibits. I was very disappointed in that because it was one of my favorite things. I saw it in textbooks when I was a little kid. So to actually go and see it was kind of a geek moment for me that I really enjoyed. I didn't know they had a pendulum here until we arrived, so I'm thrilled to see another one. And I'm glad they have it here on permanent display. So let's go see what else we can find here at the observatory.